Kevin here with Texas Veteran Lawn Service. Ever pull one of these out of your? Well, we're going to be talking about that, and we're starting right now. cord in your chainsaw is pretty easy so as you can see here it busted on us so we're gonna go ahead and just unravel it from this thing best we can this is a small chainsaw it is a Poland 2000 not very big at all all right looks like that's about as far as we can go Okay, now we just got to try to pull up this end here. Let's see here. Sometimes they are a little stubborn and they don't want to work with you. There you go. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell how much rope you're going to need. So uh, just go down to your local dealer and I pick up a lot of rope at one time. I pick up 10 feet at a time because I'm always working on different uh, machines that require pull cords. So I got 10 feet here of some premium pull cord and we have this little frayed in. So we're going to go ahead and uh, singe that up, make it a little tighter. Of course, we don't want to do it pointed towards our machine here because we will definitely end up blowing up. Uh, let's do it over here, kind of out of the way. All right, so. You're just gonna melt it a little bit. Get it to take shape. And it'll harden up. It's a little warm. All right. So that'll allow us to get through here okay so we are going to the easiest thing is actually to push it down and then try to pull it out the back here so we're going to take a small little screwdriver see if we can get it to kick over our needle nose won't quite reach that far Use a bigger screwdriver here, that might work a little bit better. Hmm. 
So once you have it to where you can see it in that hole, grab some needle nose pliers, if you have some. And I wish I had some of those surgical little snips they have. I don't remember what they're called. But those would be handy in this long and skinny. Here we go. There we go. We got it. All right, so we got the pull cord through. So I don't know how much we're going to need, so we're just going to pull everything through all 10 feet. Now, I know we're not going to need that, but we're just going to pull all the way to the end. All right, so now... We're gonna go ahead and singe this in too, but we wanna be so careful that we're not doing in the direction towards our gasoline. All right. Okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna tie a knot towards the end here. yourself some slack you're gonna come around the housing here so we can get you a little closer and then pull out a little bit more so we're gonna come around here okay and we're gonna come underneath this guy right here and when we cinch that up that's gonna pull down on that right there there you go and over time that's gonna harden up or not hard enough, tighten up, I mean, I'm sorry. Tighten up. And it's pulling down on its own line, so it's not going to come out. So now, we're just going to wind everything up, and then figure out how much we need. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we are going to, which we did, we wound up as much as we needed. So basically, we just wound it up, and then we just keep pulling this out. So that way it winds up on its own and it's pulling in as much as it needs because we don't want to shorten it up. All right, so we can fine tune the rest once we get everything in place. Okay, go ahead and put our chainsaw back together. in here so we're gonna go ahead and take our handle and push our handle all the way through let's go ahead and tighten that up there a little bit oh I don't know what I did with our oh, here it is all right push that through oh it's a little tight a little tight make it through come on rope should work all right we got that through all right so you don't want to leave a lot of slack to where let's get you a little closer here you don't want to leave a lot of slack to where let's see here, to where you have this hanging out you don't want that so what we're going to do 
is we're going to pull the rope out, push this all the way down, okay? And we're going to pull out just like this, slide this down, and we're going to just put a knot right there. And then that way it'll tighten up, but before we cut the rope, we're going to make sure that that is a good spot because once we tug on the rope, put two knots, once we tug on the rope, that line may want to kind of reset or settle a little bit better inside that chainsaw. Alright, so let's go ahead and we got it off. We have it turned off. We don't want to accidentally start the guy. Alright, that's all the way. Okay, see how we're hanging out a little bit? So we can tighten that up some, and that's what we're going to do. And that's why we do that before we cut everything. That way we can preserve as much rope as we can. Not that this stuff is expensive, but, you know, after a while you, you end up spending a lot of money in waste. If you're not careful with what you're doing. Alright, so we're just going to drop it down just a little bit. I think right there should be good. Let's tie our double knot. All right. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. There, it's there's just enough slack to where there's it's not interrupting that that first little pull you get when that piston's going up and down. That's good right there. So we're gonna go ahead and make this knot a little bit smaller to fit down inside in there. All right guys, well we got it all cleaned up. And as you can see from the pictures, we got everything put back together. It's not white glove clean, but it's serviceable clean. And uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. So I think it's ready for service. I mean, ready to be put into service with somebody. definitely an older Poland compared to a lot of the newer ones so uh, we're gonna put this up for sale and then we're gonna be working on another one well I appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next one